Hello everyone. My name is Ila and my another group mate's name is Vishnavi. So today I'm going to tell a story which is fully used with noun phrases. Before start the story, let me explain what is noun phrase. So noun phrase is a word or group of words containing a noun and functioning in a sentence as subject, object or prepositional object. I hope you guys understand what is noun phrase. So now let's start our story. The story's title is Happy Holiday. Last school holiday, my family and I went back to our hometown. The eagerly awaited holidays bring a respite from homework, lessons, extracurricular activities and exams. For me, Spending a holiday at home is equally unbearable. On the last day of school, I eagerly waited for the bell to ring at 1.30 p.m. Then, I felt like a caged bird that has just been set free. I slung my bag over my shoulder and made my way to my dorm to pick up some bags to bring home. I waited for my mother for a couple of minutes. Finally, she came. I put my bags in the car and hoped him. In the car, my mother told me that the whole family is going to our hometown. I felt very excited because I missed my hometown very much. When we got home, I quickly packed my clothes so that I won't be rushing the next day. We started our journey early in the morning. When we arrived, we had a quick lunch. I made a short exchange and headed for my favorite spot at my hometown. A, scary, a secular corner of my grandfather durian orchard there, under a shady spot, I sat down and enjoyed the peaceful surrounding. Here is one of the places that made me feel relaxed. I enjoyed the solitude of nature. As I took my seat on a wooden bench and, a took, <clears throat> and took a glance around, I can see a flurry of activities. Birds flew and sang sweetly above me while two squirrels ran from a tree to another. Colorful butterflies flapped their colorful wings and ants scurried in a single file carrying bits of food and on their back. A cool breeze blowed. I can hear the soft rustle of leaves. The air is heavy with the scent of grasses coupled with the scent of ripe durians. I can't wait to eat durians if there is some at home. I hope so. I lied on my back with my hand behind my head and watched sticks of sunlight which is filtering through the canopy of leaves. Soon, I fall into short but deep slumber. When I woke up, I can see the sun slowly descanting behind a row of far hills. Although I would love to linger for a little longer, I moved away reluctantly and left knowing that my grandparents and my family would be waiting for me. This is a wonderful holiday. The next day, I went back to my home with my family so sadly because I'll miss my grandfather and my grandmother. So, that is what happened in my school holiday. Oh, I wish she could spend more time with her grandparents on another holiday. Before I end this storytelling video, I will list down the nouns that which we used in the story. Nouns that were used in the story are school, family, hometown, home, mother, car, grandfather, grandmother, durian, squirrel, birds, butterflies, 
ants, orchard, and tree. These are the nouns that we use in our story today. So that is all from us. Thank you very much.